Hi, um, this is Melvin, and um, this is going to teach, and I'm here to going to teach you about my way of how to chest opening. So in this module, uh, what I'm going to teach is this technique called the poison horse. So what this poison horse is all about, right, is basically the ability to sacrifice your own horse in order to lead the opponent into going into extra move and then opponent that will waste their move and so what you're able to do is you're straight away able to make use of whatever the move that your opponent have wasted and thus gain advantage for yourself and then you are able to win the game so my policy and whatever i think is that is even if you lose a piece it doesn't mean that you will lose the entire game it's also possible that you can even use a set a trap like this tutorial that i'm going to go through and then when this happens and you'll be able to to think and then you'll be able to see and foresee how you're going to make use of the trap that you set and then win the game as a result okay so let's start so the rate will be starting so definitely you'll be able to use the power here to remove the power from here to here okay then black will therefore for move the horse move up and then red will counter attack by using the horse and you move up then black definitely will try to move the chair and red will also try to move the chair so what really will happen is then now is the crucial part black will move the pink so why is the importance of moving a pink pink up right it's because when you are able to move the pink up your ma will have your more freedom your horse will have more freedom to move about so for example, right, if I were to move my horse over here to this position, and then for example, the opponent, okay, so let me draw this up. Uh, so if it were to move from this part, this part to here, the ma were to move here, and then the opponent, what the opponent do, they've also moved the horse from here. Okay, so they are at this position right now. And then if your next turn, right, your horse can straight away go here. So what will happen is that your horse here will be able to threaten the opponent. This, that will be over here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so that's the very importance of here, to be able to threaten this opponent here. And you can be, you might be able to eat it. Okay, so, yeah, uh, and then possible possibility of your movement of ma because if for example if your opponent were to use power right then you can just use your this ma over here to maybe possibly block the opponent by by the block the opponent from taking this ping over here this ping that box in diamond yeah so basically you can just block it and then you ma will have more freedom so this is a very important skill that you must know that if you must go in move your ping forward in order for your ma to have more freedom and have be able to control the situation okay okay so let me erase all this okay so let's continue so uh once the opponent were to move this ping up right then the rate will definitely have to counter and he will move the chair so what this opponent is trying to do right the opponent is trying to get rid of this ma in early game he knows that this ma it will have a lot of freedom after that once he will to, will to cross the two hunt here okay this this river so he wants it crosses right and then he might pose some danger into the attacking so the red wants to destroy this horse right here so how is black going to counter he's going to move a horse up why because if i were to move a horse up here for example if my chair let's say for example were to move here and then move up to try to take the ma the pow the pow over here will be able to protect the horse uh protect the horse because it can can prevent my because the horse must go over a piece in order to eat another person so if for example if uh so if in this case if the chariot right or the chair were to go to eat the ma they will not be really be daring because it will not be a very good trait actually okay so okay so now so now the old now is the red turn the red what will he do 
he'll move up being up so maybe possibly he wants to prepare for this ma to move up and then in order to have more free mobility on the horse but however this is a serious mistake made because black will move a shoe why is moving a shoe very important it's just very simple if I were to, for example, I have a piece before I even move this, uh, let's say I, I this one I move back, okay. So for example, if I want to catch a piece or whatever, it's possible that I these two positions are very important. Because if I were to, to, to land here and then for example my power is away, I can easily just take down my these two ma over here. So that's why it's, it's important that I move the shi here so as to prevent, for example, a chair or whatever to prevent them from moving up. Okay, so yeah, next. So what the rate will be doing now, they decided that I'll be moving a pal, possibly to try to take this, take this ping over here, and maybe possibly control and help support the chariot over here. Okay, so what will black do? Move a siang. Siang is a very important position that because you open nothing, firstly, you're able to create mobility for your chair, your chariot. Your chariot can straight away move to this position and maybe possibly threaten your, your general over here. So, and secondly, your chariot, when it's over here, it's possible that you can also use a Fei Jiang to possibly check the opponent or something. Thirdly, when you move your Xiang here, from here to here, your Xiang is able to control this position and this position. And also possibly do a do a helping of the, the, the system over here because the Xiang, this Xiang can also protect this Xiang. Okay, so what really do happen is the this one can also protect this position over here. So this is called, uh, since Xiang move in the Tian Zi, right? So this Xiang will just prevent the, the protect the ping also and any ping from proceeding or maybe a chair from proceeding. Okay, so later we have a scenario and we'll show. So what will Red do? Target. Locked. Definitely the rate will be one to target this ma over here. Okay, because now is a chance because there's nothing to protect. So what, what you see right now is that the black they decide to set a trap, try to lure this chair into capturing the ma over here. Okay, so what the what the rate do? He see the target, he plans to move here. So he fell into the trap. Right. So what will black do? Straight away, I do a counter reactive move. I try to move the power. Why? Because there's no there's no point in dwelling to try to save this piece. You, you'll be wasting a lot of move. Your opponent already is going to waste a lot of move in trying to capture your ma. So yeah, if you're going to waste a lot of move just to protect that ma, and then not focus on your attack or anything, right? It'll be very very number one, it's very risky, and also it's not a very wise move. So I rather you sacrifice this ma over here. And then you go and focus on the attack. So you see how in the end, black will be able to win the red just because of red is very greedy and they will waste a lot of moves. Okay, so what will uh, red do? Straight away, take down the mark. Or else you will never ever be able to take down the mark because if my chair were to move up, I can protect it and whatever. So they have to take the chance to take, to take the mark. So black move, a very decisive move. I move a pow. Why? Because if I were to move a pow here, I might be I will be able to eat the ping and therefore also target the chariot over here. So what really will happen is that I want to plan to threaten my chair. Okay, and maybe possibly cube it's possible. So we're sensing this danger that they have, they straight away move backwards. Okay, but the possibility is that the, the rate cannot be able to move to the left by one because if we were, for example, were to move here, what really do happen is that this advisor or the ship will be able to eat, eat this chariot. And so definitely the attack will be wasted. So if you revert everything, the chariot will also not be able to move to this position here. Because if this were to happen, to move here, the opponent chariot will eat him. So revert everything again. I will not be able to move to this position either. Why? If I were to move to this position, the opponent's elephant or the xiang will be able to eat it. And therefore, all these kind all these three moves of here, here, and here will all be not feasible because straight away you will just 
it's not a good it's not a good thing um, uh, it's not a good trade as well okay actually it's not really a trade but it's not it's a very bad move because you will cut your entire attacking motion and make cause your entire entire game to even fail so why red realize this red have only two choices to move up or to move down why red can uh, it's not advisable to move up it's possible it's, there's a possibility that it might trap himself here but as compared to for example if i were to move back here i might have more mobility i might be able to eat this but be able to move anywhere else and possibly pose a trap to the opponent so that's what red is thinking so so red have to move back a few inches later okay so now what will black counter straight away <coughs> take the chance to take the pig take the soldier so red definitely sense this i don't want my piece to be eaten so i have to move left a few moments later yeah okay so this is what's going to happen and then the so the pow straight away will eventually take down the <coughs> el opponent's elephant and then opponent will be very shocked okay so yeah if i were to if i were to revert all this in order for me to move away this ch chariot this opponent move down <coughs> and then when you move down your opponent will be very shocked in this case because i i have always been focusing on my elif on my chariot moving running and everywhere but i will never expect that opponent take the chance to 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 check me so i will definitely be pretty shocked <coughs> and so when this happens right then your opponent will have to no choice but to move your advisor up okay so you see as in this case you see you realize that your opponent had wasted a lot of move moving left and then move up and then move down again and then move left again just to take one piece of the mark so your opponent just wasted four moves in just wanting to capture this mark it's very waste instead my black has straight away gone for a very decisive move and straight away target and Go on the attacking stance instead of protecting so now i will continue my attacking stance and i'll and a uh, black will decide to move back possibly to use this chariot and threaten and check okay so now my black sends this oh uh, sorry my red sends this so what will my red do my red will move outwards okay because the okay if i were to revert back right if i were to for example i were to use this chair to move down right it's possible that I can get rid of all the pieces that 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 I I, I that is dangerous to me. So for example, if I check here, okay, and then the opponent will have to move this. Okay, let me show you. Okay, uh, if I then the opponent, you go here. Okay, for okay, let's say this one is back. Okay, inside. Okay, then my this shi will be forced to go down. Okay. When my shit is being forced to go down, my my subsequently my this this uh my my chair will be able to move back up and go back here and possibly be able to take my this chair over here. So definitely the red will not want this. So therefore my red straight red made a decisive move and straight away take the general over here. Okay? So black move, know this. So I do not continue. I will not want to straight away continue with my move because I already know that my opponent is going for it. So what I decide to move, I move my, I move out. Then my black will move down. So what will really happen is now the red senses danger, and then so I will move my power down to defend, because if my discharge were to go down, right, straight away is a checkmate already. Okay, but you will see what black will do now i move my chair from here to here i move my dormant dragon over here okay to possibly check this person over here soon the red stands danger right so i will need to get rid the red things that i need to get rid of this power because just one shot right i'm dead already you know correct so i i i might be pretty in danger so i i really need to get rid of this power so i have no choice I need I will move my chariot out or my chair out so in order to threaten and attempt to take this power over here. Okay. So what will my black move now? 
by Blackwell straight Ooh. away take down the advisor and check the opponent. So the opponent have, have two choices. Number one, I can use the advisor to eat it. Okay, so let's do a pre-scenario, okay? An analogy. If my advisor were to move here, correct? What will black move is black stern now. Black will straight away move down the chair. And straight away, it is a checkmate. Because why? Is that my general norm will not be able to move up because the power is blocked. Uh, the power is here, so it's able to attack the general veil, not able to move up. So therefore, straight away is a big L for the opponent. Correct? So if I were to revert all this, I want to lengthen, uh, possibly increase my chance of survival, right? Revert to all this. The only best thing that I can do is to move my general up to prevent this and possibly increase my chance of survival. Okay, so once I, I do this, right, then opponent, what would they do? Move the chariot down and check the opponent. Subsequently, what will Red do? Red will have no choice but to move the general up by one square. Okay, then now, black has two moves. One, to move the power up, to check. Two, to move this power up, to check, which is more advisable. Number one, I will tell you straight away is this. Why? Because if my, I were to move my power over here, I am basically putting my entire attacking into straight away, I am turn the game around. Because if I were to go here and try to check it, I may be able to check now. But my opponent can also help to defend by straight away just move a power up. So you will be a never ending game of moving up and up and up and up and up. And up, and up. But instead, if I were to make a decisive move, I use this. How? I just cannon here, I straight away move up. I will straight away check the general here. So what will happen? I uh, right now only got two moves now. Either to move the ma up or yeah, basically you can only move the ma up. Okay, so we have no choice but to move the ma. <laughs> okay, so now really what do happen is this is no longer a check. So what will black do? Black can move up. But then this will move down and then move up, move down, move down, move down. It's not a very good move. You also waste move. You may turn your change the entire game for red. Okay. So what can black do? Now I move my chair out. Check. So now if I were to check here, what can my red do? No, no choice. I have to use my advisor. <coughs> Eat the chair. And now black now have also a lot of different choices. Number one, I use this power check. Also can, okay, also can. But, but, my this and same thing, my this opponent's great power also be moving to, to defend. So it's also a never ending game. So I wouldn't want to do that. It's not a decisive move. I want to end this person. Okay, because in competition, you might have a timer or something. Okay, so you are, over, you, are, you are going to waste your time. So, and your move. And every, because every time wasted or every move that you make extra, it might cause red to be able to turn the game around and then put a knife in your, in your neck. And then you are able to lose if you are not careful enough. Okay, that's the nature of chess. So what black can now do straight away, use this chariot here, check. Straight away, they lose. Right? So straight away they lose already. So what does this principle tell you? They straight away tell you that the importance of possibly setting a trap to entice your opponent to take one of a piece and then you use a counter attack to try to take over your entire uh, uh, opponent and make your opponent just fall onto the ground and lose. Okay, so that's the reason why if you were to continue, if you were to use this technique called the poison horse, you by attracting your opponent or maybe possibly you purposely or you or you careless or whatever you lost your ma. Never mind, it's okay. Continue to press on, do your attack, and think rationally, 
and don't let just because the opponent were to eat one of your possibly your mouth or any of the pieces to let it affect you and you consider always be on the ground think fast and then counter attack if possible so thus in this game i've shown you the example of poison horse and how black is definitely the ultimate Okay, so thank you so much for your time for listening to this tutorial on the chest opening and hope to see you again. Thank you.